Hey there, Rick. Yeah, the second storm actually on the way. The first one already passing through just a few remnants. Uh, again, most most of the rain rather uh, coming our way as we head into tomorrow night. We did see a good amount of it as well in the last 24 hours. We're going to have those rainfall totals for you in just a minute. But for now, we're taking you outside. And as we do, getting a look at the Santa Monica Pier, or at least we were. Cloud cover still out there. And take a look on radar. Still looking at a little bit of rain and a little bit of snow in our local mountains. And you're just going to see a few residual drops into the overnight hours. Nothing major. Most of the rain, most of the snow already heading out of the forecast. A look at the big picture. We're waiting for that next storm system to drop down and as it does. We're expecting rain late tomorrow into well your Friday. Take a look at rainfall totals over the last 24 hours. You'll see right here under three quarters of an inch for the airport for LAX downtown. Just about three quarters of an inch. Palmdale, the high desert, not getting a lot of rain. Eight hundredths of an inch and Whittier, just about three quarters of an inch of rain. And if you're wondering about the snow, we did see some snow. Mount Wilson, about three inches. Wrightwood, a couple inches. Mountain High, four inches. Mount Pinos right there, about half a foot of snow. And we're bracing for more as we head to the next couple of days. So we're going to have more on this next storm system. And of course, your weekend forecast coming up in just a little bit. Rick and Sharon, back to you. I'm right. laughing here because you know what? Next weekend I was planning this big trip to Wrightwood, right? To go zip lining. I don't mm -hmm. know if you've all tried that, but mm -hmm. that's something that I've always wanted to do. It's on mm -hmm. my bucket list. And it's snowing. I know. I don't think Can't it's you zip line in the snow? Much. I really <laughs> don't want to zip line in the snow. Yeah, well, you know what? By next weekend, could we're it probably be not up? looking at a storm. It's going to be warming up. It's a you little far to tell, but there still might be snow on the ground. So don't fall because yeah, you'll be thanks. really cold. Makes it a little and softer that, landing for you. Thank you, you guys. Zip lining is so far up, you don't want to fall, period. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping to see green, but no. I guess not. That's, That's not going to happen. Mm -mm. Oh, well. Anyway, <laughs> that was cute, though. Oh, it's not cute. <laughs> Sharon's been talking about this trip for a while. For a while, yeah. yeah. So I'm sorry to rain on your parade or snow on your parade, uh, but we are expecting more of it over the next couple of days as well. So we got snow over the last 24 hours. We got rain as well. And well, as we carry on through the next couple of days, expecting more. So we're going to break it down for you in just a second. We're taking you outside this evening and we're getting a look at the basin. Take a look at downtown right there. Looking at cloud cover, some clearing and well in the way of rain, we're looking at much drier conditions compared to where we were well into the overnight hours. We did see some residual showers in the mountains, some uh, leftover snow showers as well. But for the most part, things are starting to dry out and clear out tomorrow. Cool and dry, but not for long. We're expecting another storm system to head our way. So we're still in storm watch, but it's storm number two now. Again, as we just mentioned, keeping things cool and dry for tomorrow afternoon. Then expecting late showers in the forecast by the time we head into tomorrow night, probably after midnight. And it's going to be pretty light at first, but then as we head into the early morning hours and into Friday, we're expecting heavier rain by the morning hours, even by your commute. So this time, we're actually going to see the rain during the day. We did see some rain today, but again, most of it took place into the overnight hours. This one a little later. We're also expecting windy conditions, southerly winds starting to pick up, and we're also expecting snow along with that rain. Snow levels dropping off to potentially 4,000 feet by the time we head toward the later part of the week. Rain totals, well, half an inch to an inch in the lower elevations, one to two inches in the foothills and the mountains and snow wise expecting four to eight inches around resort level. So that's above 6,000 feet. So expecting rain, expecting snow, but for now we are looking at the drier conditions and you're going to see that on future casts as we head into the next few hours here. We're going to continue to see mostly dry conditions with just a few leftover raindrops, mainly in the mountains if we see anything at all. Then as we head into your, well, Thursday into your Friday morning, that's when things start to materialize into the overnight hours, starting to move in around 1 a.m. Then around 7 a.m., right around your morning commute, you'll see it. Depending on when you take off in the morning, you're going to see pretty wet conditions. 7 a.m., pretty wet and, well, starting to get heavier into the later morning hours and by the afternoon hours, looking at heavier rain over the mountains, over the desert, over Orange County as well. And by 6.30 Friday evening, already looking at much drier conditions and continuing to dry out as we head toward your weekend. So let's get a look at that weekend forecast, your five day forecast showing you cool and dry conditions tomorrow. Then by Friday, there's that chance of rain. But again, it's kicking in late Thursday, really 
first thing Friday morning into Friday afternoon, drier by the evening and certainly drier by the weekend with more sunshine by Sunday and a warmer forecast by the time we hit your Monday. We're going to show you what the basin and of course the mountains look like coming up in the nine o'clock hour. Back oh my to gosh, you. I'm going to be so